basic tools in mainstream in gender into programs, policies, plans. And we also want to know how they apply gender mainstreaming. We also want to know how they link gender and disability to climate change. We, under that, we also want to know the cost-cutting issues where they affect gender and disability and how they also relate. We also want to know the challenges and opportunities that we will get as woman and man then, gender and woman and man. And we want to get key recommendations and key messages that we will go through. Yeah? Now this will go through very shortly, please. Next slide, please. So the Minister of Gender and Children's Affairs, we work we work in Boku. Let's say, for example, if somebody slap in company right now, Naya, the first side where they go out for take on a minister of gender. So what would they do really? Now would they implement policies, would they enact policies where they protect the rights of both man and woman and picking them? The policy not just be for woman, please. Would they also you are going to fast, please. We will also develop plans for monitor the policies and programs the way they were done and not already, and how the implementation of them policies and they, they go through. We will liaise with partners for make us say the work with and they do, we always say they and we complement it of what. Now that make when uh, 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 Owens call we, we say what we can for can do small presentation on what we don't do so far. We will collaborate Boku with other ministries. Now that make yesterday I asked question to the uh, environment and all. I do work directly with EPA when they can an environmental issue, when I the focus person. We also de mobilize resources for us to say woman and man, man picking business when they can pay gender issues, when they can follow we incorporate gender into all the programs then now we the draw. And you're not going for draw if you not get money. So we mobilize resources. We they enact laws for protect the rights of picking them. Would they enact laws for protect the rights of man then? Would they enact laws for protect the rights of woman then? Would they supervise the National uh, Children's Commission? Now we roll down the whatever way the commission they do, then they report directly to we, and now we they give oversight to what they do. Next slide. We want for know what's in agenda means to me, and how they do gender means to me. Most times, when it comes to gender mainstreaming, people get yours in a more. And eh? now, for more, get man and woman into programs. But gender mainstreaming, they beyond just integrating woman and man business into whatever they do. It go beyond, for me, you really see how resources available, they affect both man and woman. Let's say, for example, me need and the other man sit down near me, it's different. And even more, they come here, I don't say, they're going to give me small pocket money. At the end of the day, that pocket money when they give me, when me they go out, me need as a woman, the, the first thing where the member for buy food for me picking and the mm -hmm. The next thing where the man go member, with due respect to all the men, either he goes sit down a bar, then drink something. I said with due respect to the man then. Gender needs in varies. Let me can say with due respect to the man then. In not cut across and so all man they do. But majority they deprive their family and enjoy themselves. All right, so in mainstreaming gender, we say we want to integrate gender perspective into all programs. When we the right, we, we, we agenda them, we are attendance list, hello? In the attendance list, we see where they get category for man, for woman, and for boy picking them, not also. Girl, we already know all man in category, you age, you blah, blah, not also. Yes. The reason why they do, and for me, they know how many women can, how many men can, how many disabled can? What in the age bracket? Why then they do one? So that the intervention in programs go be it go meet everybody. Because when at Gatsu they give in presentation, it even mentioned school going children. Exactly. And if you integrate gender into your programs and you neglect certain aspects of gender, you don't be biased. The activity we will do, we explain to you why we get biasness, why we get gender discrimination, what would the answer? Yeah. So the main reason why would they, why would they do gender mainstreaming, for me, make sure say the programs they will they do, it they affect both man, woman, boy picking, girl picking. And in gender mainstreaming, it gets two, three main components that will they do with one. One, you don't make sure say your organization where you get, because now whatever way every organization they do, they say put woman before. They want to see woman they integrated into whatever you do. We will come to that one. If you don't develop your program. 
and you not do anything for me, you put woman there. You just put the man there, Boku. We will begin to say, you program is within gender bias. Yes. And because we not say if program be gender bias, donors and the race concern, now that means to say you integrate gender. The, the, the most important thing while they do gender mainstream and for all get equality. Man and woman get the same opportunity to the trainings, like oh, all day or so. Even when they train me, they know they can't tell me say now because me and a woman and they get different training. And you say me and a man, you get different training. We found that say everybody they talk to everybody equally. We all they contribute different way. No, so next slide, please. Gender mainstreaming get key tools. We'll never go into the integrity of them because of time and everything. But we'll just explain small, small what in me. Why would they do gender why would they use them tools there in gender mainstreaming? Now because we want for me to program they be gender, if you want for me to program them be sensitive so that whoever will see them, it will say, okay, it they take both man and woman. And not just there for the woman. When you watch this hall, you see say the, the, the proportion not gonna be the same, but equally we get we get a number who thinks say anybody we can see go say oh it's sensitive. It also they talk about say we need for doing gender analysis. In gender analysis, it get different different components we involve. Why would they do gender analysis? Now for me to identify the needs of different people and how would they get close to resources, how would they control resources, how would they get access to their resources there in we programs, in we community, other than they control resources. Hello. <laughs> in we communities all day, other than they control resources. Majority now. Nabam. Thank you very much. Majority my man. Other than then, the issue of making process is small. Man. So, in doing gender mainstreaming, hello. Okay, we can do. In doing gender mainstreaming, if you forget for do gender analysis, you break everything. The main purpose of gender mainstreaming is for make sure say man and woman. Man and woman, they do things uh, equally. Where we make for law, we get uh, law, we get people there for take part in the issue making processes. Of course, we get gender statistics. Here yeah, for we the key because you they give you for me, you know, it's not the segregated data. Then you can't so gender budgeting. When you say, say, you say, how do they allocate resources in gender mainstream and that's what they do. Yeah, log please. Time. <laughs> 